record. Good. <laughs> Hi, everybody. This is a wee bit of alchemy, and I'm Rick Barrett. And tonight I'd like to discuss the myth of shifting weight. And uh, we'll, we'll get into that and, and a few other <laughs> cool things. So, uh, uh, oftentimes we have certain ideas that we pick up along the way, which served us very well in the past, but when we try to do something new, they get in the way. And uh, shifting weight is one of those concepts that, uh, that I think most people, when they learn Tai Chi, at some point, someone is probably early on, you say, okay, shift your weight from your left leg to your right leg. Shift your, you know, from your right leg to your left leg. And, and so that there's a certain idea that comes up with that. So what I would like to do is to just start off with a, just to get a felt sense of what, uh, of what that feels like to shift your weight. And then we'll, uh, we'll take a look at that, okay? So uh, I want you to stand up. Not you, Nick. <laughs> Nick can stand up. He's, he's not dead yet. So, so start with uh, your feet um, just a, a bit wider than shoulder width. So just go out like this. And but so you want to you want to have your feet a little wider than than your hips. And just do that. And so the idea here is you're going to shift your weight from your right leg to your left leg, and then left leg to right leg, and back and forth very slowly, and do it about ten times. And uh, just just do that. I, I want to I watch you doing it if if uh, if I can and see uh, see what what I see there. So just have your your camera view so that I can see you. So you're basically you're shifting your weight back and forth, nice and slow. Good, beautiful. Now, go into a bow stance. Put your, put your left leg forward. And here you want to shift about 80% of your weight. And this, you, on both of these, you want to shift about 80% of your weight from your front leg to your back leg and back leg back to the front leg. So just do that. So. So turn your sideways to the camera so that I can see uh, see what it looks like. So you're going front to back, and if I if I can see uh, what you look like there, good, good, good. Brilliant, thank you so much. Okay, grab a seat. We didn't know there'd be a test. <laughs> this is a group experiment. <laughs> We're just, just, just checking things out and see what, what uh, people do. So here's what I observe. We start, boom, 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 boom. So my weight's a little wider. So if I want to get 80% of my weight into my hips or into my uh, one leg or the other, here's what I'm observing people are doing. And you can feel it and see if that, that looks like what you're doing. Just sort of rocking back and forth like that. Okay, and then front to back, it looks like like this. Okay, so that uh, that's generally what I'm what I'm seeing with uh, with what people are doing, and uh, give me gallery please, and uh, yeah, correct me if I'm wrong. Is that does that sound sound right to most people? Good. Okay. So here is what 
here's what I would do, and I want to show you why why we do this. So the uh, if I'm shifting my weight is here, I want to shift 80% of my weight into my right leg. I do that. If I want to shift 80% of my left leg, I do that. And back and forth. Notice that my body is moving laterally almost zero. But I am getting, I'm getting an 80% shift there. If I'm going front to back. What I'm not doing is this. What I'm doing is this. I'm going, my weight's in my front leg and now it's in my back leg. And now it's my front leg. And now it's in my back leg. Okay, and you can see that my hips are, are not moving laterally at all. And this is because if you, any lateral motion of the hip joint or of the hips, period, will automatically uproot you every time. Every lateral motion is going to, the train is going to jump the track the minute you initiate that lateral movement. So what I am doing, I'm going to exaggerate it. I did it very, very quietly there for you. But if I'm going into say the, the parallel stance, I'm like this. What I'm doing, I'm gonna exaggerate it so that you can see. So I feel the ball of my right foot. I set my right knee and I spiral down to the right. This is exaggerated, but this is what's happening. So notice that my, my butt is not moving sideways at all. It's staying, my, my hip joint is staying right over the ball of my foot. The minute I go out like this, so the hip joint is out over the outside of my foot, I'm gone. Okay. Dude, you want to give me a hand with this? Okay. So Maria's going to, what this means in terms of, of chin or your actual internal power is huge. So if Maria is, um, uh, is standing, uh, hip, uh, hip stance, hip width stance, good. Okay. And you're coming up like that, right? And if so, if I if I push in and she just reaches out, she's she's very very strong. Okay. Now, if she just moves laterally, move your butt to the to the right just a slight little bit, not even that much, just just a little. As soon as she moves laterally, it's it's gone. Okay. It if if uh, you're you're going into a bow stance, okay, like that, right? And, and we have this, and I'm pushing in, and she's, she's nice and strong. And, but if she goes into her, just rocks into her back leg, even just a little bit, just, just that little bit, and she's gone. The root has been severed by that lateral movement because the hip joint gets, gets jammed up. We get a kink in the hose in the hip joint just by that. Thank you. So just that little bit there will kink the hose and so we lose that our energetic connection. And people do this for decades. They, they just kind of rock back and forth and they shift their weight. But I want to propose the idea that we abandon that idea entirely, the idea, the, that language, shift your weight, because it's going to cue you at a subconscious level to do what you've always done. The minute you say to your to your student or to to yourself, you know, shift your weight, you're going to get that response because if unless you're actually overriding it with something else, you're going to that get that's your immediate cue. You're going to shift your you're going to move your butt laterally. And if you move your butt one half of an inch laterally your the train has jumped the tracks okay any questions about this so far gallery here we go good valerie you had something there <laughs> was that is that a head exploding yes so okay. yes gonna have to 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 do it uh 
because <clears throat> it's right now it's like what <laughs> don't understand don't understand don't understand that it could happen or how to do it how to do it ah okay good so uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get to that momentarily um, but does everybody see what's what's going on there does everybody see that that is that is a phenomenon something something to deal with the reason why I came up with this was you know playing competitive push hands I was able to say oh you know, I break things apart and say what works and what doesn't and I I, I realized that hey I could feast on <laughs> on that front to back weight shift because people were just rocking away and I just wait for them to get to the middle ground and, they, Poof! and you know I get my uh, my points rather quickly and it was uh, like shooting fish in a bathtub and uh, so I uh, you know so to prevent that myself you know initially I just would stay on one leg until I you know and just just didn't shift back and forth but then I figured out how to how to make that shift because that's really more Tai Chi like if you can actually be able to go back and forth between your legs, but you want to do it in a way which maintains the root throughout the whole process. And so to analyze this, let's say from a bow stance, so I'm here, my weight is over the ball of my right foot. I want to get to here, I want to get to my back, my back leg. So uh, let me give you a little more. There we go. Okay. I want to get to my back leg. So I'm, I'm about 70% of my, my left leg right now. I want to feel the ball of my right foot. And I can either uh, feel the ball of my right foot, set my, my right knee over the, so that it's right in line with the, with the ball of my right foot, and then spiral down into my right leg to the left. And I, just by doing that, I have now about 80% of my leg, my weight in my back leg. And I want to go back to my front leg and feel the ball of my, my left foot. I spiral down to the left here and then turn back to center. Boom. So now I have about 70% of my in my left leg. I can make that 80%, 90%. Easy, easily done just by adjusting the pressure in the quad. So let's uh, let's uh, look at it from uh, the quad exercise we've been doing now for a couple of weeks. So I'd like to uh, just bring your left foot forward, and you're going to. Spiral down to the left, nice and slow. And notice that your butt is not rocking at all to the side. You're not shifting weight. You're just releasing down into the left leg. And then turn back. Without bobbing up at all, you're just going to turn back to center. Now spiral down to the right, releasing down. And just really allow yourself to settle into that into that that front leg and then turn back to center now we're going to the, going to the right leg the back leg and feel the ball of the right foot set the right knee so your weight is now about 70 percent in your left leg we're going to go to the back leg and feel the ball of the right foot set the right knee and this time we're going to turn to the right we're going to spiral down to the right as we do that and we're loading up that rear leg, so it's got about 80%, 70-80% of the weight in that rear leg. And now I'm going to feel the ball of the left foot, set the left knee, and spiral down to the right. So I'm loading up the right, the left leg, and then just turn back to center. Okay, before we go any further, I just want to see if there's any questions on that. Okay. Lynn. So there is movement of your center, but not lateral movement of your center. Exactly. So there's a spiral. So right. you're spiraling okay. down into the leg 
rather than rocking back and forth. But if I had my hand on your dantian, my hand would move. What yes. would seem laterally. Well, let's uh, just a little bit. I'll, I'll get Maria to uh, to help me with this. Why don't you? Okay. Because your body can. Okay, so so you're saying put the hand on the on the dantian here, right? So turn I'm sideways. Gonna, I'm going to go from my my left leg to my spiral down to the right, like this. Boom. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That, so Maria, what point. way did your hand move? This way. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going back, to, going back the other way. I feel the ball of the left foot set the lefty and turn back. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Notice how little her hand is moving. Right. Right. It's, right. It's like it's, it's like this. But, but it, yeah. Very very easily to do that. So the uh, what's happening is instead of the knees rocking. So anytime I go like anytime I I go like this, right? I am putting strain on my knees and my hips to do that. But if I go like this, no strain. No strain on hips, no strain on knees. Cool. It's all thank happening. You. Yeah, all happening. Thank you. At the uh, on the internal level. Anybody else? Uh, Rick, it's Richard. Richard. Um. So, can you load up either leg by turning by rotating either direction? Yes. Okay. Thank you. And we we just did. Yeah. So we, we we can do that either direction. It's the spiraling uh, that it's the spiraling it's the spiraling that loads the leg up. That's right. So you're 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 screwing down into the leg, and so you what that does is it keeps. If I spiral down, let's see, my right foot is forward. Okay, I'm like here, like 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 this. Okay, I, I'm going to spiral down to the left this time. So I keep that, my knee is set, and I spiral down. So notice that, that my, my, my knee is still pointing that way. I'm spiraling down to the left and then turning back. Boom, boom. I'm maintaining the weight in the, in the front leg. Now, if I want to go from the front leg to the back leg, I go left ball, set the left knee, and I spiral down to the left. And my, my knee is still pointing that way. Boom, but my body turns sideways. Then if I go back to I go back into the front leg and I turn like that. If I want to go turn the opposite way, I feel the ball of the left foot, set the left knee, and I spiral down to the right. So this way I'm turning that way. But my knee is still is still like that. All the actions happening here in the quad. So I don't lose my root for one second. And this is true for every move in any form you ever do. If you, if you float one, at any point, you lost it. You have to get it back. You lost your root. You lost your root. You lost your energetic connection to the earth. It's gone. So you have to get it back. It's easy to get it back, but it, uh, it's even more better if you, you know, if you're moving and you want to keep ba, 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 you want to you want each step of the way your your ba your your rooted connected so that if you're interrupted let's say if it's we're using some martial situation and I'm I'm attacked while I'm here it doesn't matter because I'm still rooted here I'm 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 rooted here, I'm rooted here, boom. Every step of the way, every inch of it, I am connected. So it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I, it's not just, oh, I, I load up and then I have this big payoff. No, any point along the way is the payoff, is potentially the payoff. Every point along the way I can issue from that. This matters from a martial perspective, but it also matters from an energy cultivation perspective perspective. You know, if I'm doing a cloud hand, say, and I'm going like this, da, 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 and I'm stepping out here, I'm spiraling down and turning, right? And ah, uh, and I'm coming over and 
spiraling down and turning. Da, 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 da. Notice that my butt is not moving laterally. I'm just spiraling down and spiraling again and ooh, da, 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 like that, right? And step in and each step of the way, there is that, that kind of thing. So maybe we'll do it uh, with that kind of motion. Why don't you stand up? Okay. And we're not, we're, we're going to just do the, uh, we're the cloud hands without the hand motion. So we're going to just move laterally. I'm going to move to my right, whatever you've got uh, your configuration is, but start with your feet together, right? And then you spiral down to the left, pick up your right heel and step out with your right foot. And feel the ball of your right foot, set the right knee, spiral down to the left and turn to the right. And step in with your left foot. And then spiral down to the right and turn to the left and step out with the right foot. And spiral down to the left and turn to the right. And step in with your left foot. And spiral down to the left, turn to the left. Boom, step, and turn. So notice that every time you do that, you're doing it via the claw. The claw and this will give you tremendous power. Not just uh, physical power, because you have some of the strongest muscles in your body are, are right here in this area, but also you have this un unkinks the hose so that you allow the, the energy to move through the claw and you're allowed to connect up to that earth energy. And so that any movement, any turn has this power in it. Okay, that's, uh, uh, any questions on, on, on that? Scott. Oh uh, yeah, um, I haven't gotten any of this. It's just way too fast for me, I can't follow. Okay, let's back it up. So you, you uh, when you say any of it, well, I mean, uh, I understand the concept, but you know, when you, but you know, by the time we moved our computer, you were already starting it, and we just got totally. Oh, okay, lost. let's do and that again. You just did that, and then when you just did the second part, you went too fast, and, and okay, you say spiral cool. and move. It's too we'll fast. We'll do that. Sharon, you had something. Okay. Um, the left and right thing is making me crazy. <laughs> I can't. I can't figure out what's my right, and then I'm trying to watch you, and uh -huh. it's all opposite. Um, it doesn't matter. You can. You can mirror image me. Okay. You, know, okay. you can mirror image me. You know, don't, just oh, pretend that's like that's I'm not saying anything, and just just uh, do that. Valerie. I can't not listen. Well, you muted. <laughs> What I did after you did that whole wave hands like class, um, I just uh, like connected to my ball of my left foot and turned the claw. So now my weight's over there, right? And right. then I connected to my right foot, you know, the ball of the foot and yes. then turned the claw and then my weight's over there. That was easier for me to do just that a okay. little bit rather than trying to step. I don't no, know if that okay. would work for anybody else. Okay, I, th I think it's a good point. Let's go back and just do that. We'll do it as a stationary thing. And so we uh, but One thing though, yes. um, if you get all of your weights centered on one leg, then the other leg can be empty, which may, makes it easy to step. But if you try to step without being rooted, then you're going to sway. So make sure you're really on your leg, rooted, before you step. Right. So we're going to do that just by doing it without stepping. So we're just going to start without stepping. So whichever leg this is for you, <laughs> <laughs> you can do it mirror image or you can do it. Yeah. So this leg. You shift into this leg, you feel the ball of the foot, set the knee, and spiral down to the spiral down that way. <laughs> okay. And so just, just feel into that. 
to feel what it feels like to, to do that. So feel the substantiality of this leg. In this case, I'm going to say it, this is my left leg. So I'm going to feel the substantiality in this leg. Okay, and notice that I'm still, I'm released down and I notice that if I point, take my, my hand on the outside of my hip and I point straight down, I'm in, well inside the, uh, the outside of my foot. My weight, notice my knee is, is right over my, right over the ball of my foot. So I want to just be able to get comfortable with that. Now I'm going to feel the ball of the right foot. Over this one over here, feel that set the knee there. And as I do that, I release down and turn a little bit more to the left that way. Because this allows me to release the quad. So now that when I turn without bobbing up, I just turn to the right. I keep my, my weight over the ball of the foot. And now I'm just going to release down and just feel into that. Get that, get a sense of that. Now I'm going to go back to my other leg, my left leg. And my weight is about 80% here. So I'm going to feel the ball of the left foot, set the left knee. And now I'm going to release the quad and spiral down a little more to the right. That way. And I just want to settle into that and just get the feeling, get comfortable with that. Because we're using different muscles whenever we are um, using the quad. When we're getting sung, we're releasing down, we're using the connective tissue system more. When we do this, we're feeling support of that. So now I'm gonna turn to my left without bobbing up, without moving my knee, and just rotating so that I'm like this. So I'm turning to my left over that way, but my knee is still pointing that way. Is this, uh, everybody getting this? Anybody have any questions on this? Um, Richard. Uh, what's a little confusing is when you say that you spiral down one way. Yes. And then, and then you turn farther. Yes. That's that's what's a little confusing. Okay. Uh, cool. So watch watch as I do that. So what I'm saying here is is I feel the ball of my left foot set my left knee and spiral down to the left. Yes. Okay. So that that's as far as I'm going to go there. If I turn any farther than that, I'm going to throw myself off balance. Right. So I'm going to be going any farther in my left quad. But what right. I am going to do now is I'm going to I'm going to make my right leg substantial. How do I do that? I feel the ball of the right foot. I set the right knee. And just by doing that, I have started the process of making my right leg, this leg here, substantial. Yes. And so then I release the right quad and spiral down into the right quad a little more to the left. So now I've emptied out my left leg. It's got about 20% of my weight, maybe 10. And I have most of my, almost all of my weight in my right, my right leg now. Even though my body has not moved sideways much at all, I'm still pretty, pretty center, but I spiral down to the left. So now I'm gonna turn, turn to the right. Boom. So yeah. now I'm here. So I want to get back to my left leg. I feel the ball of my left foot. I set the left quad, or set the left knee, and I spiral down to the right. Right. Into so when left, you when you spiral, leg. you don't spiral further in one direct in that one direction until you transfer your substantiality of the other leg. Exactly. Okay. Got now. I, I've got now. I've got. I'm creating substantiality in the other leg, which yep. then allows me to fill that by spiraling. Got, got you. Now I, okay. now I got it. Got it. Thank you. It's really a subtle thing, That's and a big it's so incredibly powerful that you know it's something that it, it 
you really want to do it just just cause <laughs> it'll, it'll, it'll help you with everything you do it helps me with my tennis it'll help you with your tango it'll help you with everything you do if you do it it'll help you to maintain your balance because notice if i if i shift my weight sideways like this awesome. i'm i'm a, you know i'm just on the edge i'm on the edge of the cliff here and you know, Tai Chi is supposed to be really good for your balance, but you know, if you if you do it this way, not so much. But if you if make this up, I, I can go this way, I can go this way. Either way, I'm filling up this. My right leg is now substantial, and I can I can do whatever I want with this other leg. You know, and still maintain my root. And that, I think, is, is a very important thing for us going forward. If you want to be healthier and more physically capable in five years than you are now, you know, this is, this is the way to go. Because you want, you're building from the, your foundation from the ground up. Feet, your ball of your feet, set the knees, hips. So you, if you get that, then you can release your 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 upper body because you have this this you know this this foundation that permits you to do all kinds of fun stuff with it you if you don't have that foundation if you're trying to just hang on and not fall over you have less fun and i'm all about more fun anybody else any other questions Da, 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 da. Scotty. So not a question so much as I sort of, uh, I guess an epiphany a little bit, is that what was getting me is it's, it's just counterintuitive, right? Because if, if I'm in my right leg, you would think I would want to go to the left to put weight in the left leg, but I'm going <laughs> to the right first to get weight in the left leg. It's crazy. It, it, it's now, it's now I got it. <laughs> it's, what? <laughs> yeah. But like so much of what what I've been discovering, we got it all backwards. You know, right. we got it all backwards. We, you know, the rule book, you know, the guidebook is all. Yeah, we've been holding it upside down. <laughs> <laughs> Remember the oh, 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 turn it this way. Oh, got it. Now. Oh, yeah, yeah. That makes perfect sense. But we've Remember. been reading the manual upside down. So it's the greatest want, American hero. What's that? Remember the greatest American hero? He had the uh, he had the Superman suit, but he didn't have the manual. <laughs> but he had the manual, right? Uh, was, so we we want the manual, okay? And this is this is a major step in getting that in getting that to be able to to be able to do that, okay? Any other questions on this so far? Uh, we're gonna okay. yes, yeah, Scotty or Sandy. Yeah, I have a question about the torso. Does the torso help? I kind of see it like a, the torso is like the, the handle of a screwdriver. The turn, like as you're turning, it seems like your torso helps to turn the screw down, like drilling down. Into, is that kind of what your torso? I, I think well, you're, you're onto something there. And the traditionally, you lead with the yao, y a o, which is this area right here. Okay, this is this is. So the torso, and this, you, you turn from the, the yao, this, this, this part, which basically the yang side of the, you know, the, the qua be the yin aspect, and this would be the yang. So you're turning like that. So your torso is turning, but you're, you're guiding it with your, with your yao. So if you uh, stand up and just put your hand back there and just feel into that. So we're gonna do the same thing. Like, turn around so they can see where your hand is. Okay. Yeah, so right there, so just you know, right around your sacrum, lower back sacrum, you know, right where your lumbar meets your sacrum, your lumbosacral joint. So uh, we're going to do it. You feel the ball of the left foot, set the left knee, and this time instead of just releasing, we're going to turn. We're going to do what Sandy said here. This is like the handle of a screwdriver. Your torso, but led by your you're initiated by the yao, you turn. So this will actually increase 
the amount of power that you can generate by having some awareness, some Yao awareness. And then, and then we're going to shift into the, we're going to turn, uh, go into the right leg, make the right leg substantial. So you feel the ball of the right foot, set the right knee, spiral down to the left some more. We're turning to the right, so what are we going to do? We're going to go left because that just makes perfect sense. So, and then you turn from the Yao. Boom, like that. And so, but there are a matched pair. So the turning from the L also means spiraling down into the qua. So we have a, a yin and yang aspect there. The yao is the hand that turns the, uh, you know, the, the screwdriver, you know, and then we release down in and that, that takes us down. And then we're gonna go back into the left leg. So we feel the left ball, set the left knee, spiral down to the right and then use the yao to turn, to turn your body to the left. And now we'll go back into the right leg, feel the ball of the right foot, set the right knee, spiral down to the left, turn to the right. This is something that's in the classics. They say, if you want to go right, you must first go left. If you want to go up, you must first go down. It's, uh, it's, written there and it's always one of those kind of things like ah but it this is what it means that if i want to go to my left first i want to go to the right and then go to my left and that's because in the for those of you old enough to remember how to drive a a uh, standard transmission you don't see them much anymore but the uh, the uh, what the first movement does the spiraling down is like putting in the clutch it disengages the hip joint. The turn puts it into gear. So if you 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 want to want to transfer, you ah you first you put the clutch in, release, and then turn. Right leg, release, spiral down, put the clutch in, and then turn. Just use your yao to turn your body. Boom. And that way you get more torque out of the uh, out of that turn. Questions? Nora. I do. Um, so is there any vertical move? So there's ver very little vertical movement or, or up and down, even when right. like you take a step forward or back. Because a lot right. of the, um, so the first, when I first learned Tai, uh, per, experimented with Tai Chi, the weight shifting was through the knee. They talked about through your knees. And, and then it, it expanded in terms of down through your feet and up through your knees, over to the other knee, down through the foot. But that doesn't make any sense now. That, that's, that's a good way to screw up your knees. Yeah. Okay. And a lot of Tai Chi people get knee injuries. Way too many, and, mm. and this is why you get you know if you the knees are not designed for that kind of kind of work. It doesn't mean that there are not Taiji forms which have some verticality in them, and that, that and, right. and I do, and that that's fine. But you do it, you know, you do it using the same principles. Just like in in Bagua, there's a lot of up and down kind of movement there, so it's not you can do it a way that in a way that does not compromise your knees at all, but it follows the same principle. You know, if, uh, if I'm, you know, if I'm going, if I'm going down here and I, I set my knee and I, I want to go all the way down here like this, right. And then come here like that. I'm still setting my knee, even though, and I'm coming up, right. And then uh, down, you know, boom, boom. It's still set the knee. And then I turn from the quad and I, uh, come up. And then, ah, down. still want to keep that, that relationship there. So that I'm using the qua to make the, uh, to make the, to make it work. Got it. So, yeah, there are, are ways of doing it. We're trying to keep it real simple for this one, just so you can get the basics of how to protect your knees, how to, how to get maximum power out of the qua, and how to be able to feel that earth chi coming through. 
Richard. Um, it seems like you don't go up and down, but you can spiral up and down. Uh, and yes, but you want to, the, the, for the most part, and this is what I want you to get first before you, before you do that, because you, yet you can, but the idea is first to release spiral down and then turn laterally, right? So rather than spiral down and then spiral up, which you can do, but anytime you spiral up, you're pushing away from the earth, which will always uproot you. So if you're going to come up, you're going to have to find another way of getting the root. So we're getting to more complex activity there. So for the, the simplicity of this, uh, dude, you want to come here and give me a hand with this? <laughs> up and down, up and down. Up and down, okay. okay. So if I, if I want to spiral down like this, I spiral down to the right, and, and then I, if I bob up and I try to move, nothing's going to happen. But if I spiral down like this and I don't, I barely have to touch to make something happen. It's because the chi coming through, and she does it to me now, you're, you're spiraling, <laughs> spiraling down, right? So let's see, if you bob, go down and then bob up, and then you turn, there's, the root's gone, the whole body energetic connection's gone. But if you spiral down and then turn, then there's a, <laughs> there's a uh, immediate power that it's almost like you want to go with the with the with the power. It's uh, it's just like this wave that washes through you, that is quite quite magical, and it's like whoa! It's like <laughs> it's like you know when when Dad swung you around. It's like you know a uh, it's kind of a a, a whirly gig kind of a ride. So uh, that's that's fun. So try to keep it spiral down and turn. Anybody else? Scott. Uh, just a just a comment that yeah, when you had us do it from the yow, I mean, wow, the power. Yow, wow. Yow, yeah, yeah, <laughs> wow. Cool. It's like it's weird because I've actually felt like watching some of the felt like how it feels watching some of the masters do their form. Right. These, we're 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 stepping into the laboratory here. So this is <laughs> behind the curtain. This is how these tricks are. These are how these tricks are done. Right, and how you it looks so effortless because it kind of is, if you get it right, because you're not using you're not using that that tension, that muscular tension, to make the make it happen. You're doing it via chin, and that's kind of cool, and that's kind of what we signed up for. We signed up for the chin, you know. That's the uh, hey, yeah, yeah, show me the show me the the cool stuff. I want the magic tricks, you know, and uh, you know, and that's fun. Anybody else? Okay, so let's, uh, oh, Nora. Sorry, so is there a, a releasing into the earth? Or, to, or, or do you use any imagic kind of imagery with that in terms of release, you know, as you um, sh you, you set the, the left, say that you, your right foot is set and you're setting the ball of the left foot. Is there any kind of imagery that go, that you use? Yeah you know, in terms of pressing my, my into or experience. letting the earth come up or pressing? My personal experience of that is any kind of imagery like that will get in the way. That will actually impede the, the process. That's just my, my personal experience is that um, it can feel good and, and, and that, that's worth something uh, in and of itself, but the uh, in actuality, any conceptualization takes you out of the body mind connection and puts you into your eye of mind, into you know, something a thought form which disconnects that whole body energetic connection. So, um, I'm not saying it, it doesn't work in all situations for all purposes, but for what we're trying to do here. It will uh, it will get in the way, dude. So how do you go from setting the from the right foot to the left foot? You just simply communicate from your brain to your 
foot and that whole that the whole the system there uh that that's a, that's a great question and it, it's it's funny because we actually this is part of the manual that we've been holding upside down this is <laughs> the uh how do we how do we do that right and the, the short answer is you feel it so the short answer is okay so i on my way is 50 50 i want to go into my my left claw i'm going to feel the ball of my left foot i'm not thinking like oh, okay i'm opening up to the energy of the earth and blah 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 i'm just saying no i feel the ball of my left foot as soon as i do that and try it right now just feel the ball of your left foot feel your weight pressing down on that feel the substantiality of the ball of your left foot and notice immediately you start to get activity in that left leg you see it starts bubbling up the chi starts bubbling up instantaneously now you set the knee over the ball of the foot oh it just got more substantial now i release the left claw spiral down to the left da, 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 and release down into that and it it just it just comes through there's no resistance now so it almost feels like it can feel like nothing or it can feel like a wave depending on how attuned you are to the insubstantiality of the energy but the reality of it is you now have moi mojo there's just that, that you've tapped into that and you're not using any imagery you're not thinking about it you're just feeling it you feel the ball you set the knee you release the claw and now uh, you're going to turn use your yao and turn just keep your weight on your left leg and you turn to the right da, 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 without coming up and now you're you're still sunk you're still rooted still connected but that turn you have gobs of of power that you're able to issue from that from that posture. Does that make sense? Nora? Thank you. Yes. Cool. So well, anybody else? All right. Um, got a few minutes left. So let's uh, we're doing it side to side. Let's do it front to back now. So get your weight of the ball of the left foot. We're gonna do this stationary. So we're just kind of shifting between between the legs. We're going to make the you know one leg or the other substantial. Right now, the my left leg, my I'm just gonna call it forward and back. How about that? My forward leg is substantial. And now I want to go to my back leg, make that substantial. And I'm going to turn out. So I feel the ball of my of, of my back foot, set my back knee, and I'm going to turn, use my yao and turn. Boom. Okay, so now I settle into that. Notice how vertical my my body is. Notice how how my my butt is has not passed by the outside of my foot. I'm going to go back in my my other foot, my front foot. I feel the ball of that. Push my knee out so I set that over the ball of the, of the foot. And I feel the substantiality of that leg. So you're waiting for the feedback from the body. You say, oh yeah, connection made. I'm ready to go now. I am, this leg is now ready to become more substantial. I have plugged into the big chi. So now I can, I can spiral down even more to my right which is turning to toward the back and then turn from there da, 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 da. ah here i am i'm back with my front leg being the substantial one i'm going to go back into my back leg and this time i'm going to be turning the other way i feel the ball of my back foot set my back knee release the back cross spiral down and turn the opposite direction. So I'm going that way toward my left. And I'm releasing down into the back claw. I'm emptying out or making insubstantial my front leg. If 
but I have total root, total energetic connection from this. I'm going to go back into my front leg. So what am I going to do? Feel the ball of my front foot, push my front knee out, set it over the ball of the foot, spiral down to the outside, and then turn back to center. Okay, let's do it again. Feel the ball of the right foot. Back, back or forward. What's that? Back, back foot. Back or forward. Okay, the ball of the back foot. Feel the ball of the back foot. Set the knee and spiral down and turn. Feel the ball of the front foot. Set the front knee, spiral down to turn out and spiral out and then turn. Feel the ball of the back foot, set the back knee and turn the other way. Feel the ball of the front foot, set the front knee, spiral down and then turn. So each time doing it facing you, each time there's this action. I, as I'm going into my back foot, I, I feel the ball set the knee and this time I'm going to be turning toward my right. I'm going to go like that. All right. And if I'm coming back, I feel the ball set the knee, spiral down a little more. So I'm loading up that front quad and then turning back. Now I'm going to go back and I'm going to turn the other way. Feel the ball set the knee, spiral down. So I've loaded up my back leg and I'm feeling that energetic connection. Good. I'm going back to the front leg. I feel the ball set the knee, spiral down and turn. Okay, cool. Any questions? That was that easier to follow this time? Mm -hmm. Good, 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 good. Everybody, okay, excellent, excellent. Good, good, good. Richard. Um, the, the difference between spiraling and turning is getting my attention a little bit. Okay. So uh, spiraling, this is my language and, and I, I, I <laughs> fully accountable for that. So uh, the idea of spiraling is this. If a turn, a turn is a, a in a horizontal plane, if I, my, uh, my hand, you can follow my hand. I reach out here. If I turn, my hand is level. Mm -hmm. Okay. If I spiral, my hand drops a little bit. Okay. So okay. turn. So turn. Turning. Turning just means turn, turning is flat. Spiraling is up or down. Or so right. screws, screws you down or unscrews you up. Screwing into the ground. Going back to the handy screwdriver, you're taking a screw in and you're turn the, the screwdriver is turning on that hor flat horizontal plane, but the, the screw is going down, 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 down in. And turning always comes after the screwing in or out? Yes. Because okay. if you if you turn without without it's like shifting before putting the clutch in. Right. You you turn Just gears. The, yeah. Uh, you know this nothing's happening. I haven't engaged my quaff. so this whole body turns. I'm gonna feel it down in my knee because it just it just uh, you know I'm, everything okay. just kind of pulls on that. Whereas yeah. if I put the clutch in for here like that, there's a noticeable. Oh, release there and now my knee is not it feels no strain whatsoever yeah yeah that's 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 the way i've been thinking about it but i got a little uh i got a little anxious for a minute <laughs> okay well i appreciate your question because this helps me to clarify lynn. you know lynn so i've been thinking of spiraling as more energetic and turning as more uh, mechanical Physical. is that too much of a separation um, 
I would say that spiraling is more yin <laughs> and that turning is more yang. Okay. 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 It's That's not helpful. more more or less energy, it's the different quality of energy. So Yeah, actually, uh, yeah. Good, give me a hand. Probably here. what I'm feeling. Okay. There we go. So So <laughs> if the, if we if I spiral down, boom boom boom, this is yin. I'm gathering the energy and so the turn then allows me to issue. So it's the yin gathers, yang expresses. Floating, floating up. Thank you. That's really helpful. Okay. And this is this is how we get it. And and you don't have to show your hand. You know, you're you're like this and and I'm like, I've done it. You know, I've I've spiraled down and you can't you can hardly even see. I'm gonna go the other leg, I spiral down. And it's like, I'm ready to go. There's an energetic connection throughout the whole system, and I'm ready to, to unload. If I want to take that even more, because I, I have a bigger, a bigger thing that I've got to got to handle, it's like, oh, I can take that down even more, even more, even more. Da, da, da. Oh, okay, I'm here. So then, so then when I turn, all that energy that has been accessed through the yin movement of the spiral down is now accessible for expression through the uh, through the yang turn and uh, it's it's not like winding a spring it's more like turning this the, the handle on the spigot so that you uh, the you open the open the floodgates and allow the the chi to just come rushing through. That's the way I see it. You're just, you're just opening up that. So you know you you create this the situation where you can then have a ton of energy able to run through the system, and all you have to do then is direct it. Yeah, I think that's what I was feeling. That energetic gathering, you know, that the spiraling does. Yeah. That's right. So, oh, okay. And then, oh, then you release it. It's like, it's just moving through you. Valerie. Okay. Scott asked a question, and I understand it up here, but it's not coming out of my mouth. You're not compressing. It's actually very open. Correct? Yes. Okay. Yes. It's, so... Um, compression be more like the winding a spring, right? And there is some compression, but it's only because you're taking stuff and moving it into a smaller space. So you could say that there's there's some density that is created by the by that yin aspect, but I don't think that's what you're talking about, Scott. It's not. It's not like I'm. It's not like I'm. You know, I'm not, you know, I'm not doing that. I'm not winding a spring and then, and then firing out because that would be the opposite of what we're trying to do here. That would be, you know, using the muscular, that'd be using the muscles to then, ah, you know, to be able to leap up, you know, the, to push away from the earth. What we're saying is like, oh no, I'm going to stay down and, and ah, boom. So then, so I am. If I'm punching someone with it, I am punching them with the earth. They're getting hit with a sandbag. They're, they're, they're you know, it's, it, there's something there that it's like, whoa, where'd that come from? And you don't, don't have to have a lot of muscle to generate a tremendous amount of force that way. It just, it just comes through. It's that internal power or uh, what Cheng Men Cheng called it, the essential hardness. You know, the steel bar wrapped in cotton. It's like you get that, there's a, there's a, there's a density that comes with, a, with familiarity to that much yin. And it's paradoxical, but it's like so much else in, in Taiji, it's, there's a whole bunch of paradox going on there. Cool, anybody else? Scott. 
Well, the reason I asked the question is because I can't get the the visual image out of my head of watching you do that. It it looked like you were compressing energetically, compressing, not physically compressing. Okay, that's what it. That's why. That's why I even said it. That's what you mean. I would say. Like. I would say that 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 is that is a useful way of thinking of that. There is a there is a use there there is a an energetic compression there as I go down oh, boom so there's that it your there's a loading up that occurs by just by being in that receptive mode so I'm I am more yin therefore more dense and then as I turn that is that allows for that expression there Valerie you had something yes. Yeah. So that's Bruce Lee's three-inch punch, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. And you know, you can you can do amazing things with that. Yeah. Just you know, you don't need you don't need, you can have a no-inch punch with that. I've done it. You just you just explode because it's not happening from your not happening from your your triceps. It's it's happening from your quad. And your, you know, your legs and your yow and whole body energetic connection. Okay, everybody. Wrap it up. Uh, I'm getting, I'm getting the hook now. So uh, great to see you all. Love you all. Uh, see you next week. I love Thanks, you guys. Thank you. Thanks, Maria. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, y'all. That was great. Thank you. Thanks. Great. See you guys. Thank you for everybody. <laughs> <laughs>